In this video, we're going to learn how to import Adalo users into Airtable. The first thing you need to do is open the Apps Dashboard and then install Data Fetcher from the Apps Marketplace. Once you've installed the app in your base, you'll need to sign up for a free Data Fetcher account or sign in to your existing account. Then click on Create Your First Request and select Adalo for the application. You then need to grab your API key from Adalo. So to do that, click on Settings, then scroll down to App Access, click on this icon to see your API key and copy it. Back in Data Fetcher, copy this API key into your authorization API key input. Then for Endpoint, select Get All Records in a Database Collection, the first one. Then change the name of this request to fetch Adalo users and click save and continue. Now we need to get the collection URL for the users collection in Adalo. So back in your Adalo app, click on the database icon. And then for the users collection, click on the number of records here. This should open the users in a table and you want to get the URL that the browser currently displays. So copy this and paste it back into the collection URL input. Double check the output table and view is the one you want to pull the users into and click save and run in the bottom right. You can toggle this so you don't always see this warning. And then you can see all the fields that come back and this obviously looks very similar to the users table in the dialog. So click filter all to get rid of all the fields and then add back ID, mapping that to a new field called ID, email to a new field called email, and then for full name, we're going to use the existing field of name. And you can add any other fields that you want to include. So once you're happy with that, click Save and Run. That's going to create any missing fields in our output table and run the request again and pull those users in from a dialogue. The last thing we want to do is open Data Fetcher, open the advanced settings, and change the update based on field to ID. This is a unique field that Data Fetcher can use to match the users that come back from Adalo with the records here. So if we were to move a record around and change it and run that request again, Data Fetcher could now use that, I, that records ID field to add the correct name here. So you can see that the exclamation marks have gone, even though we've moved the position of the user. Finally, we can open Data Fetcher and upgrade to a paid plan and schedule this request to run, for example, every hour, every day of the week, and click Save. So that's going to pull in the users from Adalo to Airtable every hour between 9 and 6 o'clock. 